talk about pantry pests. So insects that feed on our food that are sometimes in our pantry. We can also call these stored product insects because sometimes their food is not really food for us. It can also be pet food, it could be bird food. Sometimes it's just dried goods, spices, anything with fur or feathers. And then they can get into our pantry, get into our food, even if it's unopened packages. And so that is what the problem is. So what are pantry pests? Often they're gonna be beetles or they're gonna be moths. Both of these pests undergo complete metamorphosis. So the adult pest, the beetle or the moth, looks completely different from their larvae, which live in the food products. So what kind of food products? Think about food in different stages. So sometimes we have corn or bird seed that we bring in for our birds or our squirrel friends. Those are often infested with weevils. And so we may see little beetles that have a little snout flying around. Sometimes we'll see them in our garage and sometimes they'll get inside because they do fly. Other times we can get beetles or moths in like crackers or pasta, uh, pancake mix, cereal, all those types of things. And then sometimes we just have moths flying around or caterpillars close to the ceiling which are the larvae of those moths. If you do see webbing somewhere in the shelving or up high, those are also a sign of Indian meal moths. So depending on what it is, you may see them at different stages. They're not gonna make you sick, but they will make your food taste bad and you don't wanna eat them. One thing you can do is practice first in, first out. So if you're buying a lot of food, you wanna make sure your oldest food is getting eaten first and you wanna rotate that stock. And pro probably try not to buy too much, especially when things go on sale, we wanna stock up. But sometimes when things get infested, everything that's older that are at the back of the pantry will get infested. And oftentimes we think if it's not opened, it can't be infested, but many of the larval stage can chew through the packaging. And many of the adults are attracted to light and can fly, so they'll often be found in windowsills or in, on top of the cupboards or close to a different room other than the kitchen. But if you can identify what the pest is, then we'll know where to look. So how do these pests get into our home and infest our pantry? Well, a lot of times we actually bring them home in the food we're purchasing. We want to check those expiry dates and make sure these, this food product hasn't been on the shelves for very long. You want to look inside those packaging through the window, look to see if there's any pests inside there, if there's any rips or tears in the packaging material or any webbing on some of those folds in the flower bags. Another way that they come in is through birdseed. When we buy wild birdseed in big bags, sometimes there's rips and tears in those and we keep them outside for a really long time. If they're infested out in the garage, when we open the door, sometimes they'll fly into our home. What we can do about that is store them in better containers. And this actually also applies to food. We can take them out of that original packaging and put them in some clear, good plastic or glass containers and store them better. That way they won't get infested in the pantry. So if you're having a problem and you're seeing many, many of these beetles or moths flying around, what you can do is find the source and eliminate it. So get into those pantry, get a flashlight, look for that infestation, open up boxes, open up containers and look for those bugs. When you find those, discard them, freeze them, get them out of the house, and then work on vacuuming, cleaning up the cracks and crevices where products still may be, but it's gonna take a while. So it has taken many months for the infestation to come to a head for you to be able to see them, so it's gonna take just as many months to get rid of them. I would advise not to use any insecticide where you have food that is gonna be eaten. So follow these tips, and keep those bugs out of your food.